UF, home of the martial art network. Welcome to another exciting show, Martial Crosstalk, with your host, Bruce Comstock. Today's guests are Master Eagle Man, the martial artist of Northern Nevada, with controversial guest, the unknown martial artist. Here's your host, Bruce Comstock. Welcome to Martial Crosstalk. I'm your host, Bruce Comstock. Here on my left today is uh, the unknown martial artist, and on my right is uh, the Eagle Man. Master Ego Man. Master Ego Man, excuse me. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, some martial arts and the, the competition of martial arts. Yeah, well, anyway, this martial arts should be a uh, study of motion. You know, when you add techniques and you add ego, like this man here, you know, he wears his shorts on his head. <laughs> Sock over my head there, Bruce. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're Bruce. I'm Bruce. Nobody knows my name. <laughs> He's the unknown, the unknown martial artist. Okay, look, all I gotta say is martial arts is not really the way it should be today. It's full of competition, it builds ego. Ego is the foundation of the martial arts. If you don't have ego, you don't have strength. You might as well just take your backbone out there, Fluffy, and throw it right down the toilet, because without ego, you have nothing. Then what is the true art of fighting without fighting? What is fighting without fighting? There is no fighting without fighting. You're coming up with some uh, some handbook that you wrote yourself. That, that this is, is this is trash. This is garbage. Well, the handbook, the handbook of truth has been forgotten because of you. You shove ego. You want money for your business. You've got the biggest martial art chain in this area, and all you're interested in is money, money, money. Let's talk about your uh, studios that you have. You you have probably the most studios here in Northern Nevada. I have 13 Man. studios in Northern Nevada. 13 I have 13 studios. studios and I have 1,000 students over three different shifts. Three different shifts. So you have... Uh, Our studios are open 24 hours a day. I have masters in every studio. I have two per class. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? Well, I'll be, a, be uh, quite honest with you. He's a, a rich guy and he's got a lot of power in this town. However, I've got one studio. That is my own. Um, I train and if I could find one student that would stick with me to learn what I have to teach them I would be pleased and I wouldn't charge any money at all. They come to my studios when they learn the truth. <laughs> well, truth, what's the truth? The truth is power. The truth is strength. The truth is courage. It's guts. It is raw, high fidelity strength. See, that's a part of the ego. See, it's, it's, you know, it's like people who work out and build their bodies. You know, they're into their bodies. The body doesn't really mean anything. It's how you use the forces around you to create movement and understand oh, momentum, here we flexation, go with shielding. <laughs> Uh, I have a question, Eagle Man. What got you started in martial arts? Well, uh, what, me. what got me started was it, it was it was fate. It was my my father was a Green Beret in, in Vietnam, and we lived in Saigon. And as I was a, I, w I had a shoe shine business for the GIs, and I was I was between nine and ten years old, right around there. I, I really can't remember, but it was around there, and and I was walking by a bar in Saigon and 10 Marines came out and whipped the snot out of me. They uh, didn't like the way I shined their boots previously and they got liquored up. And so there I lay, I, I, lay, I lay broken up and I literally had to crawl out of Saigon and I crawled through South Vietnam and all the way to Thailand where I finally felt safe. And, and as I was, I was raised by Mr. Kim Chi in his temple and he taught me the way of, of Buddhism and uh, had a walk on rice paper and uh, I had to snatch a pebble out of his hand and, and uh, he made me grab this hot pot with my forearms and, and uh, then he threw me out in the snow. Yes, there is snow in Thailand. And Okay. You really haven't gotten started. You haven't gotten out of Saigon yet, have you? Well, I've been in Thailand now for weeks. <laughs> Are you listening to me? I had to crawl from the city streets of Saigon. I headed west into the mountains of Thailand. Where I was befriended by a Buddhist monk, Mr. Tim Chi. <laughs> Martial arts. From that moment on, embraced me. Embraced you. Yes. Grabbed a hold of you, shook you, and, and and just took you in. 
It was a baptismal per se, and it was a new beginning, yes, a new life. And there I, I was the understudy of Mr. Kim Chi and, and several other priests, and that is where I became a master in, in martial arts. What I, what I was getting to was that London was the beginning of my business. This is where I started trading. So did you have some dojos in London? I had three. Okay. That's basically what I wanted to get to is the part of the, the business aspect of it. Okay. Uh, well, I, I sold that. It was a small. I, I sold it out to a major chain in Europe of martial arts. Kung Fu is us, and and then I, I moved. I moved further west, back into the states, and I settled in Nevada because I can. I, I realized that Nevada was. There was a need for it here it in Nevada. Was, it was wide open, and there were so many lost souls. We'd like to hear how you got started in this. Okay. Well, um, I used to get beat up a lot in school. I had big ears, I had a crew cut, this was during the beetle era when everyone had long hair, I had to wear a butch. I had big ears, my two front teeth were missing. And uh, I went to school one day and out of about a hundred people, this bully named Brian Heener said, let's get him. So they beat me up, they used to push me out in the street on my way home. And I said, enough is enough. And uh, I asked my parents if I could take martial arts and they said, no, are you crazy? It'll interfere with your schoolwork. So I got beat up some more when I got sent back to school. And a little to my surprise, I did meet this guy named Bobby Lowe through my father, and uh, that's when I started my instruction at the YMCA, Karate Do. So I, t I took it really seriously, I really did, because uh, I used to get beat up by people who were even in the martial arts. They were bullies. And because of that, I figured I have to learn a way to defend myself against the kicker, so I'm not on the same level as they are. My studies grew and grew. And I began to study other Taekwondo, Ishinru, Shotokan. Uh, I finally got a fourth degree black belt in uh, uh, Gojo Kempo. <laughs> Where? Gojo Kempo. Where? Is that in California? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's actually in Washington State. Anyway, oh, so, uh, you know, I studied and studied and studied, and I decided, well, I would try to, to uh, develop my own style. So I have been able to Sounds defeat... Sounds like a Mexican dish. Menudo, did you say it was? No, I was Hanchito. On Cheetos. Yes, let's show a little respect. Oh, okay. no, sorry, beans and Fritos. Okay. It took me a lot. Of, it took me an awful lot of uh, years to, to master my style. I had to hide my identity. This man here, because of his ego, had to have a mask like mine. If you saw what he looked like, under do you that have mask some of your masters, Jason, of uh, the unknown martial artist? Oh no, 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 no. You, you feel you don't feel threatened by him at all. Oh no, boy, that is Gumby threatened by Pokey. <laughs> Well, um, I used to get beat up a lot in school. Ego is the foundation of the martial arts. If you don't have ego, you don't have strength. You might as well just take your backbone out there, puppy. So I, t I took it really seriously, I really did, because uh, I used to get beat up by people who were even in the martial arts. Well, truth, what's the truth? The truth is power, the truth is strength, the truth is courage, it's guts. It is raw, high fidelity strength. The handbook of truth has been forgotten because of you. Oh no, boy, that is Gumby threatened by both of That was a gift for you!